Hello, my name's Debbie and I'm a lecturer at Worcester College of Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to apply a full head application of permanent colour. My model here today, Pauline, has got relatively short hair. She finds that her colour does actually have a lot of fadage, so that's the reason we've decided to do the full head application. So, starting off, I've brushed out all any sort of residue of hairspray and I'm going to section the hair into four sections in what we call the hot cross bun section. This really is to enable us to get a really good clean application of colour through the hair. So just using your sectioning clips, we're sectioning from the top down to just by the ear, as you can see, and then we'll do that exactly the same on the other side using a, a, a pintail comb. Because it is short, it can be a bit more difficult to get really neat sections, so that's why I'm obviously using these sort of types of clips. And then we just go all the way through the back. Also, my model has got um, quite a few different um, hair growth patterns. Um, this means obviously the hair grows in different ways, so again, it, does, it can make it quite difficult to section. Okay, so that's the general idea. Okay, so we'll be starting through the back panel first and we're going to be working our way down in the sections and then we're going to be coming around to the front. So, in the first section, that's it. taking a bit of colour, only a bit, you don't want to overload the brush. We're going to be applying it from just mid-length to the ends. We're going to be leaving probably just about, just less than half an inch. And what you can see is when you're doing this type of application, you can also really see that the roots are either darker or they're either lighter. This would also stop us from getting what we call a root glow. The colour that I'm using is a, a red mahogany, so you know it will be of a, a tendency to really glow from the roots. So once we've done that, we put it out over the, the, the way. And then we're just working in your triangular sections, making sure we're getting a good amount on. This is another re reason why it's sectioned up how it is, because you do get to work in these triangular sections. Again, don't, you don't need to overload the hair with colour, um, which is quite a common mistake um, whilst training. Um, and also mixing colour. It's always better to mix your colour and then go back and mix some more colour after, just to uh, obviously save on colour wastage. So you can see, I'm actually leaving all of the roots Reds can tend to fade quite quickly, um, so this be doing it this way will obviously be on these ends a lot longer. The, uh, the model has also got a uh, slight grey, so we've used uh, a base um, with the, the red mahogany to um, ensure full coverage. As part of the um, MVQ, this is one of the requirements in, in it to do your, your full head application. And as I say, it can be, particularly on longer hair, it can be quite messy. Um, what I tend to do on longer hair is actually start from the neck and work upwards. It's actually getting a bit more easier now as we're going down the, as it's getting slightly a bit longer through these layers. Obviously, as you can see, both myself and uh, Maria were both in our protective uh, equipment. Um, obviously, the reason being the main thing is our hands. We don't want to get them stained. And also, it can then lead on to um, your contact dermatitis. Um, and obviously, with the model, we have to make sure that they're completely gowned up also using a, a gown, uh, an apron, and then a see-through plastic one also. 
is, it is really important your personal protective equipment whilst applying any sort of chemical really. Um, they are they're very they can be strong chemicals so they can have a tendency to stain um, and actually take colour out. And as I say then there is the real risk of getting your contact dermatitis which is uh, not a very nice thing for a hairdresser. So you see now we're going back into that shorter area. Okay, so we're really making sure we're getting really good coverage, but we're not going anywhere near those roots at the moment. There we are. Okay, so that's all the, the one section done. So what we're going to do then is just drop it down. This will then let the air, the natural air flow through and help to make it develop um, more evenly. If you do tend to leave it squashed down, you will find that you may get a patchy result. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to move on to the, the next section. And taking the section clips out. Starting at the top. And we're working down. This is also quite a popular application when we do uh, full head bleach. Um, roots always tend to take um, a lot quicker because of, of the heat of the uh, head. So if we do do any sort of bleaching work, then obviously we will do this application first. And also sometimes, as we said before, the ends of the hair, are, you know, have usually got a bit more colour build up on it and can take a lot longer to develop. So that's all the back section. Again, we flick it all out. Okay, so that's all your back done. So, we go around to the sides now. And it's exactly the same. working in your triangles, applying your colour. Another health and safety tip is when you are applying colour, um, make sure that you are using a trolley, um, like what we've got here, and not working off the, the stylist bench in front of you. For numerous reasons really, one, it could actually you know, obviously fall on somebody and ruin their clothes, and also the inhaler in inhaling these sort of products can be quite, um, you know, can be quite damaging. When all of our products are mixed up, they are mixed up in a well ventilated area to avoid any any problems. Yeah. So again, just flick it out, and as you can see, you know, none of the roots are actually covered at the moment. So, what we're going to do now is just work on to the next side, our last section. You can actually see already the colour um, developing. Um, the red mahogany is a really, really lovely colour. They give it a really nice shine. With a permanent colour, they obviously they'll grow out after anything between five to six weeks. Um, and also it does obviously depend on the, the porosity of your hair. If, if your hair has got a lot of colour build up, it might not last as long. And also using the right products after. So still working in my sections. These are the best things to use for your sectioning, it's just your tint brush. Um, if you start trying to use your, you know, your pintail comb to do it, it just takes a bit longer. Also, you get really nice, neat sections. That is real key to applying colour, to make sure that your sections can be as clean as possible, so you don't get any, you don't miss absolutely, you know, miss any parts of it. If you get a bit of colour, 
um, around the ears or slight on the face, then we can just uh, remove that with, with some um, stain remover. So again, I'm just using the tiny amounts of colour and just taking it all through from the mid lengths through to the ends. When you're doing your sections, how I'd see it, as long as I can see right through the sections, because obviously you don't want them too big, otherwise the colour won't absorb. And that's always a good, a good way to tell that, you're, um, you know, that the colour is uh, absorbing correctly. really important around the hairline as well obviously to make sure that you get all the these sort of little bits through into the colour so what we can do is just make sure we've got all those bits in and then we can release it again what we need to do now is just cross section check just to make sure that I've got all of the mid lengths to ends uh, covered so just going through it and just making sure that all the ends covered. And again, this is really important to do this, just to make sure that every part of the hair is covered, because it, it, it does show if uh, we have missed any. So we're just going through it gently. Making sure that seems fine. Okay, so that's the, the full head application. Um, which is obviously your mid-lengths to your ends. So we need to let it to um, develop for about five minutes and then we'll go through onto the roots.